Have you ever heard about angels? They are spiritual beings that are believed to be messengers and guardians created by God. Interestingly, there is much discussion regarding the number of angels in their group. In this lesson, we will explore the different orders of angels and their roles. We will also try to find out the total number of angels. This is SD Case on Courses, and today's lesson is about the groups and number of angels. In the Old Testament, there are some fascinating stories about angels. They are messengers and helpers for God. But did you know that some angels had different jobs than others? After Adam and Eve left paradise, there were these creatures called cherubim who guarded the entrance. We don't know exactly what they looked like, but some people think they might have been like the winged animals. The Ark of the Covenant, which was a really important thing, was also guarded by two cherubim. And there were other angels called seraphim. In the book of Daniel, there are different angels assigned to different countries. These angels are called princes. There's also a book by St. Denis that talks about the groups of angels. It's widely accepted in the church, but no doctrine regarding angelic groups is considered binding. Have you ever wondered how many types of angels there are according to the Bible? Well, St. Gregory the Great gives us some insight on this topic. It turns out that there are nine different groups of angels. These include angels, archangels, virtues, powers, principalities, dominations, throne, cherubim, and seraphim. You can find mentions of angels and archangels throughout the Bible, and cherubim and seraphim are mentioned in the books of the prophets. St. Paul also talks about groups of angels in his letters to the Ephesians and Colossians, where he mentions principality, power, virtue, and domination. So if we combine these two lists, we end up with a total of five orders. And if we add angels, archangels, cherubim, and seraphim, we have a total of nine orders of angels. St. Thomas divided angels into different groups as well, based on how close they are to God. There are three groups, and each group has three types of angels. The first group has seraphim, cherubim, and thrones. The second group has dominations, virtues, and powers. The third group has principalities, archangels, and angels. Some angels have special names like Raphael, Michael, and Gabriel, which tell us about their special qualities. Other angel names come from books that aren't in the Bible, like the Book of Enoch. Now let's discuss the number of angels. The Bible talks about a lot of angels in different parts, like the books of Daniel, Apocalypse, Psalms, and the Gospels. In the Bible, God is called the Lord of Hosts because he controls all of the angels like an army. People who study the Bible think that there are a lot more angels than people on earth. We can't know exactly how many, but it could be millions, billions, trillions, or even more. Angels have different jobs and powers. They are grouped into seraphim, cherubim, thrones, dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and angels. They help God's plan and show us how incredible creation is. Thinking about them is valuable for our spiritual lives. And that is the order of angels in a nutshell. Thanks for learning with us. Until next time, may God bless you forever and ever.